morning guys, uh, Thursday the 18th of June, welcome, <sighs> as you can hear and see, uh, first time in quite a long time actually, uh, walking in the rain, hmm. Ahead. <laughs> about the rain is uh, it does give her a lot more energy. It's interesting she really yeah springs to life life and so <sighs> So um yesterday um had some uh, feedback that was <clears throat> provided on some training and workshop I've been developing and giving quite a lot more attention and time to and yeah invested quite a lot myself in in many ways and um you've been the feedback and my own reflections as well are you know I'd already learned a lot and you know what I would um, or could do differently next time. Well, 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 um, which is always the, that's the important piece in any learning really. Um, but the, you know, the upshot of that particular feedback um, is that they have um, sort of said they're not going to continue to develop or get, you know to develop um, the workshop um, with me in the way that obviously I you know, was thinking we might do more with it um, now that doesn't mean that you know, I can't then do all the stuff with it, because of course I can. Um, that's, you know, a different, yeah, a different conversation, a different thinking process. But, um, well, well, in terms of how I felt about, you know, the feedback of them saying, well, we're not going to actually, you know, sort of, invest the time in giving me, you know, further opportunity with them to develop it and do more with it. Um, I felt emotional, I felt upset, I felt disappointed. Um, I took the feedback on board, I was very open to it, so, because initially before I spoke with them, um, I did sort of wonder what some of the feedback might be and I almost went to this place in my head where I started to preempt what they might say, which interestingly I went to a place of what the potential negatives might be and, and I could actually, it was only for a couple of minutes, but I could feel myself getting quite defensive and even internally about it and I remember thinking they're not going to be helpful and you know, for them when you and have a chat to them and have their feedback. So I did, I noticed it, I recognised it, I quite quickly let go of it. Just some breathing techniques. Um, and yeah, cleared that. And so when I did um, discuss the feedback, um, I did feel really open to what was being said and what we shared. And in fact, at the end of that conversation, they also um, commented that they felt I'd been very open to feedback and there'd been no <coughs> defence there whatsoever, which was, yeah, important for me to know and hear because that's what I was trying to, attempting to, to do, or the, you know, attempting to put myself in that space 
Um, but it's in terms of the being with it, sitting with it, feeling it. Um, yeah, I feel emotional and felt more emotional yesterday. Felt quite so disappointed. Um, am I? Do I have the skills, you know, to be um, resilient enough? So, well, Willow, Willow. Have the skills to be resilient enough to, you know, be able to say to myself, okay, yeah, you know, it's okay, it's what it is, I'll learn from it, I've got feedback, um, consider what I'm going to do with it and how I move forward. Um, totally, you know, I, I, I feel slightly better about, you know, saying that now and sharing that now. Um, because I've had, you know, certainly a, a day's um, distance from it. Um, <laughs> um, you know, and, and that's also another piece, you know, if you're feeling very emotional about something and you're in it, <coughs> you do need to absolutely take some distance from it before you start to... Um, perhaps share too many thoughts with others because the emotion Manuel can run um, your sort of comments that may not necessarily be um, distance enough, you know, I mean, may not feel um, objective enough, um, can feel, yeah, like it's. Well, actually, the emo if, if you're in that intense emotion and you start communicating that, um, it can initially come across um, like you are coming from a slightly defensive place. But actually, I think that's also because it's possibly coming from a, a vulnerable um, and, and hurt place. And I think that's definitely part of how I was feeling when I was in the middle of receiving the the feedback. Um, I was open to it, I was really listening to everything they had to say, I was giving my own thoughts back um, and there was a part of me, because I did feel quite emotional at times, so there was a part of me that also knew, you know, I, I took a risk, I was being quite vulnerable and yeah, you know, you take a risk and you put yourself out there in different ways. Um, it's not always going to be hunky dory, and it's not always going to go one hundred you know, percent how you want it to, according to your, your plan. But then, it's just the same goes. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Also, each time, you know, it, it's like a muscle. I think, isn't it? You know, you can strengthen your emotional ability, emotional intelligence, your ability to be able to take a risk, um, step into a more courageous place that you know I've been talking about courage for a long time and what that means and I think I think it takes a little bit of courage actually to stay open as well to having feedback. Um, so that's my thoughts for now. So dipping down the rain, Willow's just about to have a poo, bringing me back to earth. <laughs> it's literally so guys, have the rest of a lovely Thursday, tasty tutti-frutti Thursday, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.